Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, our four systems across the basin. So, we have what are now tropical depressions, Peter and Rose, and we also have two disturbances. Uh, one might be a threat to land, to be more specific, the Eastern Caribbean. So, we're going to be looking at the possibilities for that, and we'll also talk about that other disturbance that is highlighted in orange. And so, before I go into details, <music> Alright, so let's kickstart things with our tropical depressions, Peter and Rose. So first up, let's talk about Peter. And so as of right now, it is located to the north of Puerto Rico and it is a depression. And current sustained winds are 35 miles per hour and it is accelerating to the northwest at 12 miles per hour. So it is expected to achieve post-tropical cyclone status by tomorrow on Thursday so it is possible that we could have Peter dissipated before this week ends and it's just going to be a remnant low out there after Friday and not going to be anything that is to be of much of a concern and so looking at it on sunlight we're clearly seeing here that we don't have a whole lot going on for it we definitely have some shower and thunderstorm activity but nothing significant at this time and so let's go on to Rose and so Rose is also depression accelerating to the northwest at 8 miles per hour and it has sustained winds of 35 miles per hour and so it is expected to become post-tropical by the end of this week and it's just going to be accelerating out in the open waters to the east so nothing much is anticipated of rose either so that's it for it and on satellites we don't have much going on at all for the cyclone we just have that small spot of some uh shower and thunderstorm activity but nothing significant at all so both of these depressions are dissipating systems however as they're going away we have more coming in so then let's talk about our other disturbances and this one here is the remnants of Odette and as you're seeing there is a 50% chance that we could have redevelopment of a tropical cyclone or subtropical cyclone within that region but this really has limited time because by this weekend conditions are expected to become a little more hostile so those upper level winds are going to be increasing which are going to be helping to prevent development or regeneration of this system here so as of now the chance stands at 50% on satellites we definitely see some rotation with this but it's not well defined so we'll see what is going to be taking place with it during the next few days but shouldn't be a threat to land and so now let's go on to invest 98l which is the main trade of this video and so as you're seeing there is a 90 percent chance that we could have development of a tropical cyclone during the next five days and this chance stands at 90 for both five days and 48 hours so probably by the next day or so this could become a tropical depression i wouldn't be surprised if it manages to do so so even later today so it is mainly going to be accelerating westward and uh, our models are showing something a little bit interesting here and so if you're in the eastern caribbean uh, the lesser entities really i would advise that you keep an eye on this because there is the chance that it could move close by or possibly move close enough to affect some islands and so let's take a look at it on satellite and so we're seeing here that it is certainly getting in shape and uh, as time goes by, we're expecting that it is going to be a lot better because it is going to be remaining in a conducive environment during the next couple of days. And so now let's move on to our GFS Ensemble tracks. And so we have quite a lot as you're seeing here and most agree that it is going to be remaining out of the Caribbean. But we have a few expecting that it is going to be making its way very close and some of that number of models showing that it is actually going to be moving over the northeastern caribbean so we would actually go with what majority says for the gfs ensembles which is that it is not going to be making its way into the caribbean or moving very close to the lesser antilles however we have the euro model showing something very interesting that we're going to go to shortly but in terms of what is expected in terms of its intensity we have quite a bit of models available and almost all agree that we will have this becoming a tropical storm and if and when it does so it will occur the name sam which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and out of that number most agree that we will have it becoming a hurricane some showing a cat 2 one showing a cat 3 which isn't 
seems impossible once conditions are going to be remaining favorable in the vicinity of the invest then we could definitely see it even strengthen into a significant hurricane but let's hope that it is going to be in the open waters and not really making its way inland so now let's go ahead and see what our models are expecting so this is first of the year model and this is a map showing the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and whenever you see them being close in a circular manner with the pressure being below 10 13 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be a tropical cyclone so that's what we're looking for here and so this is by sunday the 26th of the month and so there we have your show that we're going to have the system most likely a storm uh, even a strong tropical storm by this point and let's go to Friday the 1st of October by the end of that week here we have a euro showing that we will have a significant tropical cyclone I wouldn't even be surprised if this is a weak hurricane at this point making its way over portions of the leeward and Virgin Islands so we know that this is stronger based on the gradients so when you have those isobars being so tightly packed usually means that the gradient is steeper which indicates a stronger system and so by saturday the 2nd of october here we have the model showing the system now making its way uh, just near being over puerto rico and moving possibly towards the bahamas so that would be very very interesting to see but we don't see much from that point onwards so we really have to wait and see what's going to happen with this but the gfs is showing something quite different so this is tuesday the 28th of september and here we have gfs showing that we will have uh this tropical cyclone probably a hurricane at this point being east of the leeward islands and so as we go further out gfs opposed to euro is showing that it is going to be making its way out into the open waters so it is possible that we could have any of these scenarios happening here but i would say that there is the chance that this could move very close to the lesser Antilles, but possibly not actually make landfall or move directly over them but we can't alter the possibilities and you really have to wait and see what's going to happen as i said so let's look at how favorable we have that wind shear being so the different colors indicate the favorability of the shear so when we have the green lines that means that the shear is favorable the yellow means neutral the red means unfavorable so we're clearly seeing in the vicinity of the main development region quite favorable right now so this is really going to significantly help our invest to get in shape and develop during the next couple of days as it's going to be accelerating westward so again guys just a heads up if you're in the lesser Antilles uh, this might make its way quite close uh, I would say there's a small chance that it could actually move over the northeastern Caribbean but I would say the best bet is that it is going to be making its way very close by and then turning up but things can change and we have to wait and see what's going to happen with this during the next few days and so guys that is really it for this updated video on the tropics and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be with wise and i will keep you updated as time goes by